Hello guys, welcome to module 2 video 1 creating a Facebook ad account. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create a business account from Meta that you will use for your Facebook advertising. So without further ado, let's dive in. First things first, you need to come to this URL called Facebook business.facebook.com slash overview, right? It'll get you to this homepage for the business manager. Here, just simply cre uh, click on create an account, right? Input your name, which is, let's say, I'm going to use Ecom Tushar. I'm going to use my business name, which is also going to be Ecom Tushar. This is just for demonstration purposes. Of course, you're going to use your own names and your own business name, whatever you might like to. And any business uh, email address. So let's just say Ecom Tushar at gmail.com. And then you will simply click on submit. It's going to send you a confirmation email on your email ID. Simply click the verify button in the email and that's it. Now that's going to get you to this business settings homepage. Now your business profile is created. Your business manager is created. So let me take you through some settings. First things first, it's the users is going to show what people are in this account, right? And then it's going to show some partners, right? So partners is basically people you work with. You don't need to know that right now. System users is again a very uh, technical term. You will never need to use this most of the time. Going forward, in your account section, you will have your pages. This is the main part. This is where it will show you what pages you own. These are the pages that you will need and you will require to start advertising. We will go over that as well. right? Then it's your ad account. It will show you how many ad accounts you will have. That's what you need next. It's an ad account. So what we're going to do is click on add and click on create new ad account. Give it whatever name you'd like. I'm going to again name it Ecom Tushar ad account and select the time zone that you'd like to i usually go with the los angeles time zone time zone you can go with the ist time zone whatever it might be right and of course the currency you can do us dollars or inr whatever you're comfortable spending in right i mainly do us dollars but you will need uh, an international card to pay for that right so once you click on next it's going to ask you this just go for my business and simply hit create right and that's it your ad account is now successfully created right it's going you just uh, check on these options which is manage ad accounts right and you will select the person who's in the business manager and simply click on assign now it's going to ask you to add the payment info which of course you will have to do uh, if you want to run ads right so you can click on add payment info and it's going to take you to a screen where you will be asked to input your debit card or credit card details or upi details if you're using an inr account right and just hit next and it's going to ask you for the card number and you know currency and time zone and everything once again and uh, keep in mind you cannot change the currency or the time zone of an ad account that has already been created so please choose that wisely right uh, click on debit card enter your details i'm not going to do that right now and that's about it your business profile and your ad account have been created successfully right the next thing you want to do is go to pages and create a page, right? First, we created the business manager. Second, we created the ad account. Now we have to create a page. This is the page that we will use to start advertising our products, right? So this page can be named as anything that your website is named as, whatever your domain is or whatever you might like. Just make sure it's relevant enough to your product, to your website, to your ads. So people understand that this is the page name and this is the website name and they both correlate. So it makes sense to the customers, right? Cool. So we'll just go ahead and click on add here, create a new page. Let's say we'll just do a brand or product. You can choose any category. I usually just go with brand or product because the product is what we'll be selling. In page name, you can again do anything that you want. Uh, let's say we are going to do Ecom Tushar here as well. It doesn't really matter. Choose a category, uh, brand, and that's it. Simply click on create page. And uh, after a few seconds, of course, your page will be successfully created. Uh, and that's it. It's going to refresh uh, a little bit. Yes, right here. And your page is now created, right? So Ecom Tushar is created. Now you can go to view page and change the profile picture of the account, change the uh, about details, change whatever you'd like to just tiny little details, add a cover picture, add a profile picture. And that's about it. You are ready. Your business manager is created. Your ad account is created and your page is created, right? And of course, you'll have to add the financial or the payment or the card, card info like I showed you in your ad account. So hopefully you'll do that as well, right? Next up, you need to go into data sources, right? And go into pixels. Next thing is we want to create a pixel, right? We've come into pixels now. Simply click on add. That's about it. 
and that's it. You will just uh, it'll name your pixel automatically. Ecom to share BMS pixel. That's it. Hit continue, and it's gonna take a second, like it usually does. And that's it. Your pixel is now created. I'm gonna show you what the pixel does and how to connect it to your website. And just to give you a brief overview, a pixel basically is just a simple line of code that Facebook adds within your website, so it can track the user behavior, whatever the users do on your website. Let's say if I come to your website and add a product to cart, this pixel will tell the Facebook Ads Manager, the business account that we've just created, that somebody added a product to the cart on your website. So that's what this does, and I'll show you how to connect it to your website in a later video. So that's it. Our essentials are now done. That's about it. We don't really need anything else from this business manager. Create the business manager. Create the ad account. Create the page and create the pixel. And of course, add the payment info. And that's it. I'll see you in the next video.